If you're a Home Assistant user, don't worry, this isn't a you should switch video, but something interesting has happened in the smart home space that's worth understanding. Homey has just released a self-hosted version of their platform, meaning it can now run on your own hardware, much like Home Assistant does, and that changes how the two platforms sit alongside each other. And in this video, I'm going to take a look at the announcement, what it offers, what it doesn't, and what it might mean for Home Assistant. Hey everyone, my name's Simon and welcome to a new video on Bite of Geek, a channel that's all about Home Assistant and Smart Home technology. So today in my Christmas Smart Home series, I'm taking a look at the announcement that Homey has now launched a self-hosted offering of their Smart Home system. This isn't a this versus that battle video, but it's more to understand what's really being offered, what it does and doesn't do, and most importantly, what it might mean for you, whether you use Home Assistant now or if you were thinking about using Home Assistant in the future. Up until now, Homey has always been tied to hardware, with you using either the Homey Cloud, which is an app-based, or Homey Pro Mini, or the all-singing and dancing Homey Pro Hub. With the announcement of Homey self-hosted server, that changes things. This is the Homey software designed to run on your own hardware. Things like a Raspberry Pi, a NAS, a virtual machine, or a self-built home server. And they're targeting this very much at those that like to home lab or tinker with things. For Home Assistant users, that immediately sounds familiar. And that's exactly why this is interesting. So what does Homey self-hosted server actually give you? Well, first, from a feature perspective, it's very close to Homey Pro. You get all the main functionality, Homey Flow and Advanced Flow automations, dashboards, insights, logic, energy monitoring, remote access and notifications, and voice assistant integrations like Alexa, Google, and Siri. So from a user experience point of view, this is very much the full Homey experience. However, where things differ is the device connectivity. Because this is a software only solution, you obviously don't get those radios that you would with Homey Pro. Instead, out of the box, it supports Matter, devices on your network, and cloud-based devices and services. And here's the first crucial difference to Home Assistant. If you want to connect Zigbee, Z-Wave, Bluetooth, or IR devices, then you can't just use something like a Sonoff or SM Lite dongle to do so. You're going to need the Homey Bridge, which is Homey's all-in-one radio device. And this kind of defeats the object of this being something you're self-hosting, as now you only have the option of using Homey hardware. Installation-wise, Homey clearly expects a technical audience here, with install options being Linux with Docker, Raspberry Pi images, virtual machines, and NAS platforms like Synology and Unraid. This isn't a casual install, and actually, that's likely a good thing. It means Homey isn't pretending this is a solution for everyone. But there are limitations, so let's just talk about those for a second, because they are significant. First, and this one is quite important, this is a subscription-based product. You get 30 days to try it out, and then there's a monthly fee to pay, or a one-off fee if you prefer. I couldn't find any details as to what that subscription offered, so I can only assume that you're paying for the software. And if you don't pay the subscription, then the software just stops running. Second, and Homey make it very clear, that even though you're paying for the software, you don't get any official support. And that's because you're running it on your own hardware. So you're going to have to rely upon the documentation and community help to sort any problems out. Third, and this is a big one for existing users, and that is that there is currently no migration path from Homey Cloud or Homey Pro into the self-hosted version, not even a backup and restore. And finally, this is not an open platform in the way that Home Assistant is. You're still operating inside Homey's ecosystem using the Homey App Store and working to Homey's rules. So whilst it's self-hosted, it's not open in the same sense of the word. So let's be clear here. Homey self-hosted server does not replace Home Assistant. 
Home Assistant is fully open source. It's hardware agnostic without subscriptions. It's infinitely extensible and it's community driven at its core. Those fundamentals haven't changed. What has changed is that Homey is now competing for a different type of user than before. Previously, Homey sat much closer to the appliance category. Now it's stepping into territory that Home Assistant has dominated, the self-hosted smart home. From a Home Assistant user's perspective, I think this is actually a positive thing. It validates local control of devices in our homes is the right direction. It pressures vendors to reduce cloud dependency, enabling us to use devices as we see fit. And it shows that the market values flexibility in the way that we want to do things. And for some people, especially those who find a home assistant too DIY, but still want local control, Homey may now sit in that middle ground. That doesn't weaken Home Assistant. If anything, it reinforces why Home Assistant exists. So after all of this, what I take away from this announcement is that Homey self-hosted server isn't a Home Assistant killer. It's not even really trying to be. It's Homey acknowledging that self-hosting, local control and user-owned hardware actually matter. And that's a win for everyone in the smart home space. If you already run Home Assistant and you're happy, there's no reason to change. But understanding where the ecosystem is going helps all of us make better decisions long term. If you found this video useful, then give it a like. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and hit the notification bell as well so that you don't miss the next video that I've got lined up across the rest of December as part of my 12 days of smart home Christmas. Let me know in the comments what you think. Does this make Homey more interesting to you or does Home Assistant still do everything you need? But as always, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.